What's up, you two? Yeah, boy. I got the Mormon hat on today, man. And this hat serves a very important purpose because I recently made a bet with my mom, right? She knows I love this hat, right? It's this a ridiculous... I got this from one of my acting gigs, man. They let me keep this hat for free now that that show was over, man. And yeah, man, I think it fits me well. But I made a bet with my mom that if I do not stick with the December plan you guys see on the screen right here, that I would give her this hat as punishment for me losing the bet. Because, yeah, I wrote down a very insane plan. And let me explain the reason that I did this, man. Because, you know, I was getting done some shit that I thought would take me a very long time to finish. I got done early. So, you know, I'm sitting in my room bored. And I realize, man, my greatest weakness is that I'm fucking lazy. Now, I've been working 40, 50 hours a week, but that's not enough. I basically told myself that I'm going to kill this weakness. I'm going to replace laziness with diligence. Now, how do I do that, right? <clears throat> I wrote out this insane 30-day plan to where I'm basically going to be working 70 hours a week for the next 30 days no chicks, no fucking, no vacations, no restaurants, nothing fun. Just going to stick straight to the money game for 30 days. That's going to kill my laziness because it's going to be 30 straight days of diligence. Now, I'm already on day three. Did 12 hours yesterday, made $400. Did nine hours the day before that, so it's already starting, right? Because I... I want to turn all of my weaknesses into strengths, right? I'm a very lazy person. In 2022, I'm going to kill that. In 2023, we're going into the year with diligence because shit is getting bad, guys. They're talking about increasing the interest on everything tenfold. I just paid off all my credit cards, right? <clears throat> and it's getting bad. The economy's getting really bad. I ordered some salmon from Instacart. They only gave me one piece of salmon because they're out of fucking salmon because all the railroad people and all the, like, truckers, they're striking, and it's getting fucking bad, guys. So let me start off by saying that I do not need $11,000 this month. The main reason for me doing this is to kill laziness permanently. I got to be diligent. We're entering into a new era, and you guys know me, man. I'm all about solutions over complaining. So I'm not going to do what these other YouTubers do and sit here and bitch and complain about how bad the world is. Fuck that shit. I'm going to adapt to how the world is becoming, and I'm going to put my people on point so you guys can adapt and ascend as well. So let's break down what we have here. <clears throat> now... I was sitting in the Discord call in my server with some of my homeboys, man. Shout out to Jetty, you know, shout out to Israel, shout out to everybody that was in that call, man, because we breaking this shit down. And essentially, you know, my homeboy Jetty, you guys have heard me mention him in a couple of videos. He does this thing where he literally writes down what he's about to do before he does it. And I'm like, oh shit, that's genius. I'm going to start doing that shit. Thanks, Jetty. I'm going to shout you out in the video. Because one of the greatest secrets of life is thinking what you want to do, then speaking out what you want to do, then doing it. Thinking, speaking, doing, or as Jetty would say, thinking, speaking, acting, because it's all a fucking game, right? So, boom. I was sitting down. How do I kill my laziness? Okay, I got to be diligent. How do I be diligent? Okay, I got to make myself suffer. How do I make myself suffer? I got to put myself on the front lines and really be in the field, right? So, boom, 30 days of suffering, no females, none of that fun shit, just going to hustle, hustle, hustle. And I wrote it down. I thought it, I spoke it, I wrote it down, and now I'm going to do it. So let me break down what... And some people have been asking me, like, how much I'd be making for Uber and whatnot, because I typed in the comments that it's a skill game. It, everything's a fucking game, right? It's a skill game. The drivers that know what they're doing, they can make six figures. The drivers that don't know what they're doing, they're going to be making $12 an hour, right? How much you make as an independent contractor depends solely on your ability to learn the game, adapt, and master the environment around you. So let's break it down. Now, I want to start off by saying it is December 3rd, 2022. 
as of right now, I do not have my Tesla yet. So these numbers that you're seeing on the screen, these are pre-Tesla, pre-electric vehicle, pre-Uber Black, Lyft Black income. So this is just from Uber X and Uber Comfort, no electric vehicle, and doing some Lyft on the side. So these numbers are before I get my Tesla. Let me just start off by saying that. But if you guys look at the top of the notepad, if I su succeed in being diligent for 30 days, I'm going to take 5000 of that and just put it on the down payment so I can pay off the car earlier, right? I plan on paying it off in two to three years, but, you know, if I stick to this plan, it'll allow me to do that even quicker, right? So, boom. <clears throat> so, for the last two months, I got my November stats on here. For the last two months... I've been consistently making forty to fifty dollars an hour, which you know, forty-two on average, when you factor in all seven days. On fr Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, I can make up to fifty dollars an hour Ubering. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I make anywhere from thirty to forty an hour, and that all average is out to forty-two when you combine it together. So I'm making about fifteen hundred to two thousand a week, which is why. For Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm working 12 hours those days because those are the most profitable days. You want to work when it's profitable. You want to work the most hours when it's profitable. So for the money days, I'm doing 12 hours a day. That's three sixes right there. For the non-money days, I'm doing eight hours a day. That's three. That's 32 right there, right? 70 hours a week and... For the sake of calculating the income and comparing it with my expenses so that I'm never spending more than I make, I'm using the bare minimal calculation. So boom, at the bare minimal, I'll be making $2,100 a week, which I'm already doing. I've already started my plan. $2,100 hours, 2100 a week because that's 70 times 30. 70 hours times 30 and 70 hours times $30 an hour, $2,100. Bare minimal calculation. On the higher end, if I make the 40 an hour, that's 2800 you know, a week as well. And I never calculate the 50 because the 50 I only make on certain days driving certain hours, right? So, boom. Average that out. That's 2100 to 2800 on average. Do that for four weeks. That's about $1,100, right? 5000 of that will be going straight to the down payment. The rest I'm going to save and, you know, calculate with the other expenses as well. If you guys look to the left of my screen, I got a whole folder called Money Game because this is what the fuck I do. I surround myself with the strongest energies and most brilliant minds and we gather together, share ideas, and we all ascend above the game together, right? Now, what I'm sharing in this video is only a tiny smidgen of what we be talking about in these calls. But I want to put my people on, you know, with the Money Game as well. Because, listen, guys, it is getting really fucking bad. Like, you guys don't understand. Let me take a sip of Powerade real quick. No tea today. Powerade, man, because I'm hype. Good stuff. It's getting bad, guys. I'm going to just be completely blunt with you. In the coming future, if you're not making $30 an hour, you're going to be struggling. That's how bad it's getting, man. You know, because they're they're reeling people in right now. The gas prices just got lower, but everything else has gotten higher. And they're talking about increasing the interest on loans ten times before 2023. It's getting bad out there. You it's getting to the point where you need to make thirty dollars an hour just to fucking survive, right? And that's cool. People ask me what I've been making with Uber. I'm giving you guys the full breakdown right here. And in order to ensure that I adapt to the coming changes, I'm going to put myself through war. I'm going to make me suffer, and I'm going to get used to being diligent and not resting. Right? Well, I'm still resting. I'm still getting plenty of sleep, believe it or not. And between this, all I'm really doing is I'm just sacrificing some luxury. So video games are being cut out. Women are being cut out, man. All that extra shit is being cut out right now because I got to go to war. I got to make myself diligent in order to prepare myself for the coming changes. And I'm putting you guys on too. When you hustle and you write down your plans, 
You think it, you speak it, you do it, you think it, you speak it, you act it, you get great results, right? People try to clown me. Oh, you resigned from law enforcement to be an Uber driver. Yeah, because right now that's where the money is. Making double what I ever made working in that day. I'm just saying, bro. So, yeah, man. I'm fucking hype right now. I'm amp. Let's get it. Because I'm not trying to lose this hat, man. I like this hat, man. I like this ridiculous looking hat, bro. I can even wear it like this. <laughs> it looks like I had a sun behind me. All right, man. So, yeah. Obtain the knowledge. Apply the knowledge. Verify the knowledge. And at the end of this 30 days, I'm going to come back and verify my results. You know, hopefully you guys are hustling too, man. Think it. Speak it into existence. Then do it. Everything is a fucking game. You can master the game. Then ascend above it. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace.